Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Doc Talk. In this episode, we're going to go over hamstring tendinopathy. If you watch some of the other Doc Talk episodes on tendinopathies, you'll know that tendinopathy is generally due to an overuse. So if we're looking at hamstring in particular, then we've either increased our intensity or our volume by too much and we've overloaded the hamstring. Generally, the movements that are going to cause a hamstring tendinopathy would be running and specifically uphill, doing lunges, or doing a deep squat. When developing a rehab program for a hamstring tendinopathy, we're going to progressively load it going through a couple different stages. In the first stage, we're going to do isometric movements, which just means that we're going to hold a position without moving any of our joints. Three examples of ways that we can load a hamstring isometrically are either a single leg bridge, a long lever bridge, or a straight leg pull down. Generally when we're doing this, we want to do 5 reps for 45 seconds, but it's all going to depend on how much you can tolerate. If you can't tolerate that much, you can decrease the time so that you can get through your sets. In the second stage, we'll start incorporating some movement. So in this stage, we're going to focus on moving our knee while minimizing the movement up at our hip. That'll help avoid any compression on the upper part of the hamstring. Some examples of exercises for this stage would be either a facing up or face down leg curl, or we could do a weighted bridge so that we're adding a little bit more load. We would then progress these exercises so that we're moving the hip a little bit more. Two examples of movements would be either a deadlift or a lunge. In the final stage, we'd be working on more plyometric work to work on building explosive movements in through the lower extremity. Examples of exercises for this stage could include a sprinter's leg curl, skipping, or any sort of cutting motion. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Doc Talk. I hope that you found this video useful as well. If you did, please like and share this video.